friends, what's up? It's your girl Akeisha and welcome to day two of my back to school series. In the last video we talked about organization and I showed you guys my agenda. If you missed it, don't panic because you can click the link right here to see it and it'll be down in the description bar. Today we're going to be talking about the things you need to know before you get to university. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and click that red button to subscribe if you haven't already. So first of all, you have a registration ticket, so I'm sure if you guys are already registered right now, you would have known about this, but if you guys don't, like I don't know when you're watching this video, but if you guys don't, then a registration ticket is basically your allotted time to go and register for your courses. You can make up your schedule about, I think, a month ahead, but you have a certain time date based on your, um, your student number when you can register. Make sure that you go and click on that exact day that your time slot opens, because if you're late, then you might not get the classes that you want because other people would have um, other people would have confirmed their schedule. So whenever your ticket opens, make sure you just go right ahead and click on that. Now for first years, you definitely have a bigger advantage because they give the earlier time tickets to first years than the rest of the people. So you guys, make sure you get on that registration date. Next is your student number. So your student number is like a, what is it, eight to 10 digit number that you're gonna need to remember. You're gonna need to remember this for everything. When you go to the healthcare services, when you go to ask for questions, when you go, when you call on the phone to ask questions, your teacher, anything you need to memorize that number. That number is going to be like your lifeline, okay? Memorize those digits right as soon as you get them because you're gonna need them for everything, trust me. At my university, we had three types of meal plans that you can get. You can get the basic meal plan, which is I think one meal a day. You can get the, the second one, which is two meals a day, or you can get three meals a day. I definitely advise skipping the best, you know, the best meal plan because honestly, you're not gonna eat that much. First of all, you're probably gonna wake up late and miss breakfast anyways, and you won't be able to use that breakfast time slot. For me, I just had um, I just had two meals a day. I made breakfast on my own, which was like a little oatmeal or a little bit of bread and cheese or something, or a boiled egg or even just cereal. But that's what I did in the morning because anybody want to pay for all that? <laughs> Especially because um, if you live like for me, I didn't have like a stove, but there are some dorms that do have a stove and kitchen supplies and everything. And for that, you definitely don't need a full register meal plan to do that. Um, definitely opt out of the, the best option and just settle for two meals a day. One thing that I never tire of seeing is freshmen who raise their hand in class when they need to go to the bathroom. Guys, high school is over, elementary school is over. You don't need to raise your hand to go to the bathroom. Just get up and walk away. No, The professor does not want to interrupt his entire lesson with 300 people in the background for you to go to the bathroom. Like, just go to the bathroom. Don't raise your hand. Excuse yourself quietly. You're an adult. Go to the bathroom. Another tip I have for you guys is get to know your campus. Now, there are a lot of things on your campus that you might not know about. A lot of things that they probably don't even tell you about. Like, for example, on your campus, there will be a health center or whatever that you can go to if you're sick and you can get, like, help or medicine, whatever that you need. There's nurses on campus that you can go and see. I would advise when you first get there, take the first few days that you don't have classes to walk around campus and see where everything is get a custom see where all your classes are because honestly walking is all that you're gonna be doing on campus for real though so definitely go and make sure you know where everything is plan your routes out in your head so you know exactly where you and you don't have to waste time between classes and the last thing to remember is that help is always available now I know in high school like the people there they would sit you down and literally talk to you they would go to you they attack you sometimes and go and talk to you about like your future and what you want to do in university it's not like that they're not gonna hound you down to, to get you information and get you on track but it is always available and they do want to help you. At my school, we have a student success center that you can go to and they talk about all your courses and how and gear you towards your courses towards your career that you want to that you want to do. Now, unless you go and ask for the help, they're not going to give you the help, right? Um, but it's definitely available. You just have to go to them. Then you also have your facility, your um, faculty advisor, that person who's in your actual in your major in your major, the head of your major that will help you determine like what you what courses you need to get whatever job later on. And definitely there are a lot of events that go on on campus. A lot of events where different different establishments come and they have all types of information days and all kinds of job fairs and stuff. Last year we had a health fair that came and there was a bunch of people talking about different ways to keep your body healthy. There are a lot of food companies that come around sometimes and they should give like free food or whatever. There are some stores like I remember shoppers came around a few times and they had like little bags so definitely get to know your campus and get to know what's going on there's a schedule on your school website that you should definitely go and check out and also 
on that note, in the cafeteria, there's also special days that they have as well. So you guys can go and check that out as well. Make sure you let you know what is going on in your campus. Get involved in your campus activities. That's definitely something that I wish I did because you guys know I'm kind of a hermit. So first year, I really didn't get involved in a lot of clubs and stuff until like the end. But I mean, definitely go ahead and get dive in and get involved because honestly, it'll make your experience so much better. So I hope you guys liked that video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you beautiful, lovely people in my next video. Bye!